Public schools have officially opened for the first term of the new year 2015. The presence of teachers in classrooms, a confirmation that indeed the two-week nationwide strike is over and done with and it is back to work. Uh, the students are very excited, even ourselves are also excited, uh, given that uh, we are now back to, to class as we are supposed to be. It is exciting and uh, some of us uh, were looking anxiously and waiting to hear the good news that the children come to school because uh, that is what we are employed for and that is our business. Pupils, on the other hand, were excited to be back in class and were busy settling down, ready for what is in store for them this year. Head teachers interviewed affirmed that learning had started in earnest and the two weeks lost will be recovered. For every teacher, I would urge them to ensure that they stop at nothing, to ensure that uh, the child still remains the victor uh, at the end of the day without due pressure. I think that should not be a problem because um, once you know what you have lost and you are conscious of what you are supposed to do, I'm sure that uh, different schools um, will be able to make good for it. We shall do our best to ensure that we have recovered the lost time. Because it was not the children, the children cannot be punished because of our own strike. They expressed satisfaction by the industrial court ruling, which ended the strike expressing hope of a long-lasting solution to their wars. We uh, wish that uh, a permanent solution is uh, looked for, so that uh, at any given time the children uh, are not uh, interrupted as far as the delivery of the curriculum is concerned. And as the school year officially begins, the people look forward to a great academic year, saying they will concentrate more on developing individual performance and building character, which they termed as important. Beatrice Gatone, reporting for Channel One, News Hour.